Hello, this is Dan DeLuca in Eugene, Oregon, and also at dandeluca.com. Today, I'm going to talk about self-confidence and how you can build, grow, maintain your self-confidence. So, stay tuned. Okay, I've got eight points on my little piece of paper here, both sides, on maintaining and growing and building self-confidence and also a couple things to, uh, uh, to, well, to not do. So let's get started because I want to keep this really short and there will probably be a blog post uh, expanding on this. So look for a link to the blog post where I'll have uh, a little bit more discussion and I'll, I'll go uh, in depth. Anyway, here we go. Self-confidence because if you don't have confidence in yourself, you know, how well do you think you're really going to do? How long are you going to last? Are you going to stick with it in the tough times? And we all know that there's going to be tough times. So self-confidence is part of your personal development growth. And so here we go. The first thing is comparison. Are you comparing yourself to other people? If you are, stop it. Don't do it. And there's a lot of ways you can work on not comparing yourself or let's see, uh, how can I phrase that positively? Um, having confidence in yourself and your abilities. And, and one way is to look at what you've achieved so far in your life and actually sit down, take time out during your personal development time and write down, write it out. Don't type it on a computer write it with your hand in a with a pen on paper write down your accomplishments and achievements and then review them every day and even add to them every day so that's one thing you can do to stop comparing yourself to other people is to look and see what you've achieved already okay because otherwise um if you compare yourself to other people that destroys your self confidence and there's no good reason to compare yourself to anybody. You are your your best competition. So let's keep that in mind as we go through this. Are you doing daily personal development to grow your self-confidence? Are you the same person today that you were yesterday? If you are, then you did not do any personal development. And my challenge to you is do something that grows you and alters you daily daily okay and i'm i don't have a lot of suggestions right here check the blog post i'll cu i'll cook up something for you that you can do something you can practice every day that has you be a different new person from day to day that's personal growth that's personal development some of the things that i'm going to talk about here will have you grow and will be something you can say yes i did do something that had me be a different person today than I was yesterday. Okay, point number three, be clear on your purpose. Why are you doing what you're doing? And are you helping other people get clear on their purpose? And I'll tell you something, if you're doing that every day, that's personal development. By helping other people get clear on their purpose on their why you are making a difference for them and that leads right into the next uh, part uh, next thing if you will the next activity that will grow your self-confidence because that's what all this this is all about your self-confidence are you connecting with people's why are you asking questions and are you connecting with what their reasons are for doing what they're doing and on top of that, are you if if they don't know their why, are you helping them connect with their why? Are you guiding them using questions, stories, examples, conversations about why they're doing what they're doing? Because if you can do that, you will make a massive difference in their life. And that person is much more likely to respond to you, to take direction from you, to follow you, to subscribe to your newsletter, and perhaps buy something from you. So if you can connect with their why, 
and or help them connect with their why. Okay, now that is a connection. That is human to human interaction. Do that. You do that once a day with somebody, somebody new or somebody you know. That's personal development. That will build your self-confidence because for every single person that you can help connect with their why, that's something you can write on your list of accomplishments, okay? And that's something that makes a difference for people. And that's what we're in this business for, aren't we? Okay, so are you doing everything? I'm sorry. Are you doing something every day to get out of your comfort zone? Are you expanding your comfort zone every single day? It doesn't have to be a lot. It can be, you know, that much every day. Expand your comfort zone every day. Your self-confidence will expand exponentially. And that is another thing you can write on your list of accomplishments. I expanded my comfort zone, right? If you're talking to five people one day, talk to six people the next, seven people the next, 10 people the next, etc. Expand it. Are you writing a blog article once a week? Would it be uncomfortable to write two a week? Do that if you're a blogger, okay? If you're a Facebook prospector, instead of contacting 10 people every day or leaving five comments every day, bump it up every single day. Expand your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone. That will boost your self-confidence because in 30 days, you'll look look back at day one of 30 days and you'll see how far you've come that is a confidence builder that is you expanding yourself okay are you teaching your market how to get better so this is the invest learn teach part are you teaching something to your fans and followers every single day or whatever your schedule is okay mine is about every day so are you teaching something on a regular, preferably daily basis, consistent basis? Are you teaching something? Because to teach something, it takes something, right? And it takes confidence. And even if you haven't produced a result, that doesn't mean you can't teach it, okay? Uh, I was I, I, I was in engineering school, okay? I, got a, I have a degree in engineering. And I had to take a bunch of maths, right? I had to take calculus and I had to take differential equations. Well, the guy that was teaching me calculus, he hadn't invented calculus, okay? It wasn't Leibniz. It wasn't Isaac Newton. It was this guy who had learned calculus and he learned how to use calculus, but he hadn't invented it. He was teaching it though, okay? And, and I learned it and I got it. So you can do the same thing. So teach your market something, preferably every day. And we might have heard this, we might not have heard this. When you teach something, you you get a, a better understanding of it, okay? When you have to explain something to somebody, you get a better understanding of it. So the best way to be a, a learner and an achiever is to teach. Okay, now let's see. Are you taking small, daily, consistent actions? Okay, so this requires some focus. And the, the self-confidence aspect is if you do a daily, small, consistent set of actions, okay, again, look back in 30 days after doing that and you will see how far you have come and you will grow your self-confidence because you will have seen what you can do and what you can achieve in 30 days by small, consistent, daily actions. And there's a book you can read. It's called The Slight Edge. Read that. You'll It'll blow your mind if you haven't read it. If you have read it, read it again. Okay. And then finally, are you learning something new every day? Are you learning something new every day? Again, how, how, how to be more self-confident, how to have more confidence in yourself? Learn more and know that you learn more, okay? Not to get all puffed up and I, I know more than the next guy. It's I took 
another small daily consistent action, which was learning something new every single day. It could be a new little script when you're talking to people. It could be a completely new social media strategy. It could be learning how to do paid Facebook advertising versus free Facebook prospecting. It could be a Twitter advertising. It could be one day you get on Periscope and you do a live Periscope. Okay, are you learning something new every single day? Okay, those are eight points on growing and maintaining your self-confidence. I'd love to hear from you about anything that I left out that you do that works for you to grow and maintain your self-confidence. And I'll see you at the top.